All right, everybody, we just put in in the uh, off the boat ramp. I'm with John from South Florida Fishing Charters. Go check him out on Instagram. He does this for a living. He'll get you on clown knife fish, peacock, snakeheads. So if you're ever in the Miami or Coral Springs, South Florida region, make sure you check him out. We're heading down this small canal right here, and this thing is called a... A Ginu. A Ginu. First time ever being in one of these. It's pretty, pretty stable. More stable than it looks for sure. And we're fishing these South Florida canals for some snakehead today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Try to keep the line out of the water if you can. Um, not that I think the snakeheads can see it, but just so that, I don't know, right. just so when they grab it, they don't grab the line, they grab the frog. And a lot of the times, like, you know, if there's a seawall, um, I want to get within like a foot of that seawall and just walk it out. The tighter, the better to the wall. When right. I have a, a bank like this, you want to cast on the bank and then right. just kind of plop it okay. in the water so the, the snake right. head yeah. get the frog in its mouth. Yeah, um, a lot of the times when they're hitting kind of non-aggressive, I have to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And just let them take it for a couple seconds and then set the hook? That's right. So you pretty much just do that on all these. Yep, exactly. You ready? <laughs> just let it land on the their grass and just scoot it on off you know yeah. the, the grass is, is it makes it basically dummy proof it's probably about 15 foot right here man what all laid up in the grass look here marshall don't step backwards oh yeah there's a whole but they're all down this little guy's property Right, look at that one. <laughs> look at it right here, Mark. Look at the one out here on the edge. Look at that one. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I told you that things were everywhere out here. <laughs> this canal is important that you land as tight to the bank as you can get. Okay. Oh man! <laughs> I waited and everything. I thought I had him. Damn. Yeah, you did fine. Hmm. I guess sometimes you just don't set the hook, you know. I saw him hit it and I waited and everything. Man, that was like perfect. Dude, that was textbook. <sighs> I'll do better next time. I just got to slam the hook harder or what? I feel like I did, I, they hit it hard, but they got a mouthful of teeth. Yeah. Like creature baits? Ooh. Is that another one? Yep. Yeah, but, yeah, you got oh, man. Damn. Am I yeah. doing something wrong? <laughs> man. Nothing that you did wrong. Let me see that, the hooks on that thing. Okay. There was a spider web in that one. Mm -hmm. You know I don't. don't you know I don't do out. spider webs very well. Really? Um, nothing wrong with the hook. Maybe do. I mean, I don't want to tell you to do a lighter hook set. Maybe you do a little bit lighter of a hook set, but I, I mean. Do more of a pop instead of a pull, or? Um, I usually do a pull and follow through. That was it right there. Oh, he's looking for it. He followed it and then <laughs> he just never would commit. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Golly, come off. 
I got him all the way up to the boat and he come off. Yeah. I'm having some, I'm not, I don't know. Did you see him? Two or three pounds, look like. Uh, little rubber ducky. <laughs> Man. That's so yeah. Like he hit it, miss, I've hit it, miss. I've seen that frog lose so many, like not stay pen. Hey, could just be me. caught me off guard. I was like, I wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, neither was I. I am zero and three, man. Surely my my bad luck streak's gonna end. Right side or left side I should be throwing on? Fishing every square inch. You say right side? Got yeah, it. baby. Oh. Is that it? Is that the snake? It is the snake. All right, just wear them out. Just wear them out. Just wear them out. Good size one. Wear them out. This is well. I'm going to help you land them here. Oh yes, finally. I told you it happened. <laughs> I want to just boat flip him at this point. I'm so scared he's going to come off. Yes. All right. Sir. First thing, I'll tell you a little bit about them. These are a bullseye snakehead. And uh, they get that nickname bullseye from their tail. They got a little false eye on their tail there. You know, they got those that dorsal fin being the whole length of their body and their anal fin being half the length of their body uh, makes them real strong fighters and uh, he engulfed that frog he bit it pretty good yeah he did that's a good he fought uh, good i mean that's a good size one you know for your first one that's a good size one um he's probably i don't know three three four pounds and uh this, this fish is gonna be big he's fixing to be big because you can tell he's got he's got a real wide profile head um, his head is much wider than the rest of his body, which is usually the case, but it, it, this one's even more pronounced. Um, so this, this fish is going to be a real big one. These guys can be out of the water for like a couple hours. They're uh, air breathers, and that's one of the reasons how they became so invasive to this area. Um, we release them. It's totally legal to release them in the same body of water that you caught them, but uh, these fish people would throw them up on the bank thinking that they were killing them when yeah. it was legal to kill them. And then they had slither either back down into the water you caught them or they'd slither down to the next waterway. So really cool fish. I'll let you hold your fish. I know. All right. My first ever snakehead, beautiful fish right here. And, uh, I don't know. We have grinded all day. We've probably been out here five or six hours. I've hooked about four of them. Didn't land them. Finally got this one in right here though, so so we're gonna get a quick uh, reel with this thing right here. But absolute awesome South Florida fish. She's good. All right, now maybe we'll catch another one before the day's over with. Oh boy, that one barely. Yeah. Didn't even hardly do nothing with it. I feel like once I can break the ice on a fish, I can do better. Yeah. It's just that initial. I knew it. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. One baby one. <laughs> Little guy, you can both flip him. <laughs> Aww. Hey. He's so cute. Two in three minutes. I told you, once I break the ice, boy, it's over. You want to film that one or no? Probably not. <sighs> All right, so now we have this little bitty one. Well, I am going to get a little reel or snapshot of him, though. That one's cool, look. All the snakehead I've missed today, and I catch that one. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. We got
it seems like Florida is the place where everybody smuggles in their illegal yeah. fish and pets. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Another thing, like some stuff comes over on like the freighters from other countries too. Like we have these. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he got off. It was a good one too, man. Was it a snake? Yeah. Yeah, he was up in that grass, man. Barely hooked. Right, I'm gonna boat flip him. Is it okay? Yeah, go ahead. You cool your cameras there? Yeah, yeah, you're good. I'm Coming up. All right. There we go. Got him. Out here getting it done. This lure is made by a buddy of mine American Snakehead Customs. Uh, for reference, this is called the Frog King. So if you guys want to come down and do this, go get that lure there. And uh, this guy's still pretty green. But uh, yeah, nice snakehead. Double spotter. Oh, just on the one side. He's got two spots on that side. Nice. So, pretty cool. Here, one thing that uh, I didn't show you guys before is uh, the amount of teeth that these fish have. Got a lot of teeth. All right, snakehead getting released. There he goes. All right, so uh, we are gonna call it wraps today. That was day one, mainly snakehead fishing. I'm gonna let uh, John shout out his channel right here. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. That way, if you guys wanna watch some of his stuff or contact him about fishing down here, in South Florida, so what is it? Uh, it's just my name, Johnny Stabile, all spelled out, but uh, like you said, it'll be in the description box. Yeah, it'll be in the description, and I uh, appreciate him for letting us take it out here today. Got my first ever snakehead, a good one at that, and got a little baby one after that. Missed a couple good ones. So uh, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a, a different day. That'll be the next video you guys see, so we'll see you guys on episode two of the Florida Sand. Peace.